Is the 99% crowd getting a 100% free pass? Well, the Richmond Tea Party says it's coughed up more than 8,000 bucks for city permits and fees for its protests. But it says the Wall Street protesters didn't have to pay a dime. That's why the Tea Party just sent the city a bill. The mayor refusing to comment. But this Richmond Tea Partier has lots to say. She's Colleen Owens, and she joins me now. What is going on here, Colleen? Well, basically, it's the mayor picking and choosing what laws he's going to apply and who has to abide by the law and who doesn't. All right, so what we're seeing we, is, is, is that you had to not just pay $8,000 in permits, right? You also had to make sure you had porter potties, you had to have your own electricity, you had to just comply with regulations. What are you seeing happening right. with the Occupy Richmond uh, group down there that is not what you, your Tea Party group experienced? Well, basically, we had to, I, I did the 2010 rally, and basically we had to start about two months ahead of the day so we could get all the permits. You had to pay, we had to pay for the use of the park for the day. The city dictated the number of policemen we had to pay for. They dictated the number of porta potties We had to buy a million-dollar liability policy to protect the city in case anyone was hurt or if there was any property damage. So... Uh, this past couple of weeks, we've been watching in the news these uh, the occupiers there, and we called the city and said, Are they, "Do they have the permits?" And they said no, and we questioned it, and they they really didn't have an answer. Are they on public property? Yes, it's a city park. All right. So what does the mayor say? Well, basically, he's taken the time to go down there and speak to them, and he said he told them that. Well, I'm a child of the a civil rights era, and so I sympathize with you, and so that's why. Yeah, so I hear what you're saying. It's not just Richmond, though. We're seeing it in, in Charlottesville and Atlanta and in two other cities where the Tea Party is saying, hey, wait a second. We complied, we paid for permits, but the Occupy, whatever the name of the city is, did not. And uh, is this something that you're going to see grow across the country where the Tea Party is saying, wait a second, we're sending the bill back to you, got to the city for the permits? Eight grand in your case. Go ahead. Yes, yes, because we're we're getting uh, lots of emails and phone calls from other tea parties that are uh, saying that they're about to start this in, uh, or about to do the same thing because it it seemed to have really struck a nerve and we just felt like we were we were getting tired of being compared to the occupiers first of all because Why? we follow the law. Yeah. We we are respectful of the police. We are respectful of private property and public property, and we pay the fees that were required, and then there's a double standard here. Yep. And if they're not going to enforce the law, then they owe us our money back. You know, Colleen, it, you know, the Occupy, uh, you know, Wall Street crowd might say, wait a second, there were crackdowns in Atlanta, there were crackdowns in Oakland uh, against us. What do you make of that argument? You know, our, our beef really isn't with the occupiers. It's the fact that our, our founding principles, this country was based on the idea that laws should be applied equally to all citizens. And the mayor here has come out and said and acknowledged that he is ignoring the law. And so that is a slippery slope to be going down. So whoever's in power gets to choose, pick and choose. As a matter of fact, we issued, uh, as part of our letter, we asked Mayor Jones to please list all the laws that are optional so we will have that for future Any word reference. back? No. Okay. Nothing. Colleen, nothing yet. Well, you'll report back to us if you get an answer there. Colleen Owens with the Richmond Tea Party, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time.